Okay, I'm going to teach you how to use CRT auto res switch on a 31 kilohertz monitor. First thing you're going to do is follow this guide. Absolutely, completely follow it. Use crew even if you have NVIDIA. Use the AMD method and NVIDIA method. So it'll make it easier on you. That way you can more easily choose the custom resolutions in NVIDIA's tool. So anyway, once you follow that guide, once you come back, it should look like this. The RetroArch should look like this, right? Okay, I'm gonna get out my SNES controller and load something. So once it, it'll it'll look like this, I'm gonna load the uh, Mario World on SNES 9X. And as you can see, it's uh it's kind of like blocky looking. It kind of looks like kind of rectangular. This is what happens when you use integer scaling for. Um, SNES and NES games and I think a lot of I think some Sega Genesis games basically the integer scaling for them creates that kind of effect because on a CRT it's basically supposed to like stretch the video because CRTs don't actually use pixels so basically what we are doing with CRT auto res switch or whatever the hell it's called is we are keeping it from looking blocky and this is in every emulator I do believe also, I will have to uh, stop this and do a jump cut at some point midway so I can download a N64 or PS1 ROM so I can do this stuff. Oh, I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, copy my I mean, copy my disk or something. I, I don't fucking know. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do once you have that is you're going to want to go into RetroArch. You're going to want to get out of whatever content you're in and the first thing you're gonna wanna do if it's showing here we go okay you're gonna wanna go to settings you're gonna wanna go to user interface you wanna show advanced settings that should be on if it's not on turn it on uh... go to video there is CRT switch res you wanna turn that on as you can see the CRT super resolution is automatically set to 2560 um, this full screen width and height is irrelevant, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Uh, so once that's on, you want to get out of RetroArch. You want to quit RetroArch. The first thing you want to do once you quit RetroArch, you want to go into your program and create a, cu a new custom resolution. I recommend also creating with Crew. Um, if I can... Let me open it up. Okay, so I have crew out here as well. You want to double click crew, CRU, custom resolution utility. Um, and you want to go to your monitor. Mine's a gateway EV910. You want to add. Um, for some reason, I don't have it in here. I don't know. You want to add a resolution, CRT standard, 2560 whatever the super resolution it said was it's probably 2560 for you as well it said it's 2560 by 240 if you're using a 240p thing like you know just f like how the guide said to do it but do a 2560 you want to go to 120 hertz that way it can actually output a three, 31 kilohertz signal because these monitors pc monitors they don't support uh, 15 kilohertz signals unless you have some kind of weird wacky monitor or like BVM or something uh, I, I, I don't fucking know <laughs> so once you do that you're gonna click OK and then you're gonna click restart double click restart 64 I'm not gonna do that because I know it'll just completely fuck over OBS and just make my life a living hell so then you're also gonna want to do the same thing in here you're gonna create custom resolution 2560 by 240, 120, sta um, timing standard, GTF, make sure it is GTF. That is how I got mine working, and I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the HDMI to VGA connector on mine. If this is not working for you, by the way, it is probably your connector, um, your converter or something like that, unless you have native VGA output, in which case this should work fine, I'm pretty sure. Um... So yeah, and create that custom 2560 by 240 um, progressive resolution. You're going to click apply, which hopefully doesn't screw up everything. Okay, it didn't screw up everything. 
when it asks you if you want to keep it, for some reason my screen is showing up here. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, this is problematic. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Display capture's getting weird. Because I don't... Okay. Display capture. We're going to... We're going to redo this. This display capture. <laughs> this is... This is getting weird now. Okay. Display capture. Okay. There we go. That's what we want. Okay. Now it's all the way on this side. It's... Don't worry if it, like rearranges your monitors and stuff because then you can just go to set up multiple displays whip it over here click apply and that should be fine but I have to restart display capture again I'm pretty sure and if your CRT is acting all weird and stuff don't worry about it just click yes and then redo the resolution uh, let me get display capture working again okay once you do that it'll probably fuck up your resolution Okay, and then you want to go to change resolution, change it back to that. <laughs> Apply. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out! One second. I'll be with you in a second. Okay, so now we have this, and the display capture's broken again. So we're going to create the new display capture. Okay, so now we have that and we have the custom resolution set. Now if we uh, do a display capture, it, I just opened up Spotify. Um, now if we add a display capture for that, it would probably look like that. As you can see, it's like super wide, 2560 by uh, 240. We don't want that display capture. Okay, so we have a retro... Um, so now... What else we want to do? So we want to go into RetroArch and or into the config by going into the folder you have it in. Right click, edit with Notepad++, edit with Notepad, whatever you want. Just uh, edit it. And you want to find this right here. You probably changed it um, during that guide I told you to look at. You see that? You want to change it. You want to change it to the super resolution, 2560. Click save. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do in this config. Exit out of it. Now RetroArch should be up. And one last thing. You want to make sure that 2560 by 240 display is your primary display or else you're going to get a whole bunch of stutter in RetroArch. Uh, that should, you should already probably know that, but you know, just in case you don't, double-click RetroArch.exe. Okay, now it's all out of whack again, probably. So, now we have RetroArch out here. We have it working. At least I would hope so. Uh, transform. Center to screen. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do here before I show you guys is make sure it's transformed to the correct size. Okay, and then it should look like it should look like this. That's what your retro arc should look like. All right, and at this point you have it pretty much ready. So what I'm going to show you here is I uh, I actually have a video on my phone uh, for the like blocky looking thing, and I probably already showed you that in about the beginning of the video. Somebody's typing at me on Snap. That's cool. Uh, here, and I'll show you a video from my phone of what it looks like on here, too. So it should look like this. Um, so, yeah, and what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to Load Recent uh, or whatever you want, you know, and just load a game. And at that point, when you run it, it should have a 4x3 aspect ratio as it should look on a CRT. As you can see, that is what we did. You are successful. At least I hope. I hope you enjoyed this video. That is
that is uh, all you need to do and this should work if you use different emulators and stuff like that you shouldn't even have to change any settings anymore thankfully you shouldn't have to change your resolution settings it should just work from now on with any emulator you use it should just stretch right out so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, that's uh, that's how you use CRT switch res on a 31 kilohertz monitor so yeah hope you enjoyed um, happy retro gaming <laughs>